You and see, under, because it's, it's under the normal uh, civil uh, procedure, if the prosecution closes its case, and that may be the plaintiffs, that's what I'm using prosecution in the civil sense, for the plaintiffs. My, my lords, with the greatest respect, yes. let's just stick to what we're familiar with. If you say prosecution in the civil... Okay, so if the, if the plaintiff closes his case, and the defendant realizes that the case the plaintiff has made has no substance or does not establish the reliefs he is claiming, and there will be no need for him to testify. You know, he can tell the court that he will not testify, and then he will be put to his election. Whether it, if the court rules in respect of his application, he will still testify or he will not testify. My Lord, that, that is the procedure. My Lord, with the greatest respect, that is not the procedure under our rules. With the greatest respect, that procedure may apply under the English civil procedure rules, but it does not apply under our rules. And with the greatest respect, if, if I'm wrong in that, I would stand to be corrected. Which rule under our rules has that provision? It, it's a settled practice. My Lord, that we adopt. So are you saying that my Lord, a party not. cannot say that I will not testify, judge the case according to the evidence you have? My lords, my lords, because you cannot compare anybody to testify. <laughs> my lords, with the greatest respect, my lords, my lords, my lords, my lords, my lords, my lords with the greatest order, respect, order in court, please. With the greatest respect, I wish to take it a step at a time. If your lordship is referring to a submission of no case at the end of testimony, if that's what your lordship is uh, adverting to, my respectful submission is that, one, under English common law, it is in fact not available in a trial which is not before ju the jury. Under common law, the authorities are clear that that process that your lordship that just described is not available. And I, I, I am prepared to cite some authorities in the common law which make that clear including a well-known case of Alexander and Rayson. But, my lord, before coming to that, I just wish to clarify that the common law position is very clear. Where there is a jury, where there is a jury, it is open under the common law. Where there is a jury, it is open for When there's, a jury, when there's a jury, it is open for the plaintiff to say, indeed, that I don't want the matter to go before the jury. I'm ending at the point of the trial judge. But the common law position that has been clearly stated in the English Court of Appeal is that where there is only a judge and not a jury, that procedure is unacceptable. And there's a very clear reason given for it in the authorities, which I'll come to. But my lord, I want to... Mr. Chica, I want to understand something. Are you suggesting that a party can be compelled to, yeah. to, to give evidence? My lord, that is not what I'm suggesting. I'm just suggesting that Order 36, Rule 3, applies in terms of the precondition that is put there. In terms of the precondition, it says where the defendant elects not to adduce evidence, then whether or not the defendant, and I'm saying respectfully that in this case, the first respondent elected to give evidence and notify the court as such. 